So what is the significance of this worship of the feminine? One important thing that you need to understand is, feminine is not a gender, it is a dimension. If I utter the word feminine, you are thinking of a gender. No, it is not a gender, it is a certain dimension of life. The significance of this dimension is, it's easier to get response from this dimension than the other dimension that we consider as masculine, because it is designed in a different way. It's not about which is better than which, there's no such thing. It's just different. A fool can start an argument, which is better than which? This is like, is the earth better or sky better? Those who are upon the earth or the planet are looking up at the sky. You know, I spent a long time watching the eagles and hawks, the grey hawks in India. I spent a special amount of time in my life watching them because of the incredible way they can fly. And uh, from eight, nine years of age, I was dreaming of flying. <laughs> so I watched and watched and watched. And what I found was, all these glorious flying creatures who are such, uh, you know, I don't want to go into the detail but you must look it up, some of these hawks, their capabilities of flying is uh, way better than a fighter jet. I'm not saying it goes as fast. But for… for the body it has, for the volume it has, what it does with its wings and its body is so absolutely incredible. But as I watched them, fascinated by their flight, I only looked at their wings and their tail, how it moves, what the feathers are doing. Then I noticed, all these birds which are flowing, flying up there, in our view, a glorious flight. The only thing that they're doing is constantly looking down at the earth. Have you noticed this? They're never looking at the sky and enjoying it. They're only looking down at the earth all the time. Of course for food or just because they enjoy the planet earth the way it looks. But human beings who cannot fly are looking up all the time. So then I thought through this and just thinking, isn't it better that you're a chicken and you're looking up at the sky rather than being an eagle looking down all the time? Because one who looks up naturally rises, one who looks down naturally come down. One is at least aspirational. Another is uh, wanting to go down. So feminine is a dimension, not a gender. <laughs>